In this video, I'll show you how to create custom frames in Canva using the FrameMaker app. I'll give you a complete overview of the app and its latest game-changing feature, Masks. So, let's get started. First, if you haven't installed the app yet, go to Apps, search for FrameMaker, and install it. If you're using the free version, you can create custom frames using the dot editor. There's also a frames library where you can find ready-made frames to use in your designs. But if you want more advanced options, you can upgrade to the pro version, which gives you two powerful options, frame and mask. Now, let me show you how both work. Let's start with frames. This feature lets you convert any element into a frame. Let's convert this into a frame. Click Convert Design to Frame, choose the maximum size for the best quality, select Transparent Background, and click Export. Now, your element is converted into a frame, and you can simply drag and drop images into it, just like Canva's built-in frames. However, there are some important things to keep in mind when using frames. Like all elements must be connected. For example, if you're using multiple elements to create a frame, make sure all the elements are connected and no hole inside it. So that's how the frame feature works. Now let's check out masks, which give you even more creative flexibility. With masks, you don't need to connect all elements. This means you can create complex designs with separate elements and still apply an image inside them. For example, if I have a shape and text that I want to turn into an image fill, I simply click Convert Design to Mask, select the maximum size, check Transparent Background, choose the right page, and Export. Once the design is converted into a mask, I can upload a photo from my device or select one from Design. From here, I can adjust the zoom and position to make it fit perfectly. When I'm happy with the result, I just add it to my design. Let's change the background. And that's it! That's how you can use masks to create advanced design effects. So, which one should you choose? Use frames when you need a reusable frame that allows you to drag and drop images directly on the canvas. Use masks when you need more flexibility to fill complex or disconnected designs with images. If you want to try this feature, there's a free trial available, and I'll leave the link in the description. So that's how you can use frames and masks in Canva. What other features would you like me to cover next? Drop your suggestions.